So I've seen this game called One Chance that's apparently really deep and really sad. And I've never really played games that are sad, mostly because I don't get sad myself. If you want to know what sad is, one time I got McDonald's and when I opened the bag, the fries weren't even filled up to the top. That was sad. Let's see what happens when I play this game called One Chance right now. If you guys are cool with that, I'm sorry, everybody. I didn't even know where I was going with that intro. And um, I'm pretty sure this game's sad. Maybe I might shed a couple tears if you guys are cool with that. Doubt that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go in six days every living cell on planet earth will be dead you have one chance a little dramatic are we i have one chance i bet you i have many chances and there's nothing you're gonna do about it if i get it wrong so here we are i think we live in the rocky mountains i am looking at my handsome self and yes i am cute as a button as they say i don't know who says that but i say it my wife said hurry up honey oh okay Molly's room? Let me check Molly's room. Hello, Molly! How you doing today? Do I really have to go to school today, Daddy? Yeah, you do! Now go pack your book bag and go learn! And let me talk to my wife again. Because, man, she's looking great. Today is a big day! Get a move on! Alright. Let me take my morning shit, though. And let me pick... Wow. The way that guy picked that newspaper up, my back would be barking if I did that. But it says, The Daily News! Cancer cured! Yesterday, a team of scientists led by Dr. Pilgrim left. I like how it says left, like there's somebody on the right. Cured cancer. The team had been working on a cure for the illness for seven years before they made a breakthrough in cell destruction yesterday. The cure, currently known as E48K15, it just rolls off the tongue. I think I might name my child that. Could also be used to fight other harmful cells, even the common cold. E48K15 will be applied through the form of a gas for that ass. Okay, so basically, you just gotta put that gas and inject it into my veins, baby, and cancer's cured. That's all you do. But here we go. We're going through the streets of New York City on your titties, I think. And I think that's my coworker, bro. How's it going, Jim? Well, if it isn't the freaking savior, it is. Now show some damn respect. Congratulations, Sean. This is a big step. Praise me, everybody. Clap for me. Clap those butt cheeks for me. We should go out for a drink to celebrate, Sean. I'm married. In five days, every single cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. But it is another day, and I'm still the same handsome son of a gun I've always been. Molly is a little bit closer to the other room. Mom's in the bath. The phone's been ringing all morning for you must be important okay well let me go check the phone real quick oh wait hold on um i can't check the phone let me break my back oh jesus cure deadly the cancer cure discovered earlier this week has been found to be beyond deadly according to officials e48k15 doesn't stop at only killing cancer cells the drug goes on to kill every other living cell in not only the human body but everything else if the gas-based drug was ever used, it could go on to cause catastrophic damage to the earth. Okay, so basically this guy had the intention of curing cancer, but he ended up making a deadly virus that is killing everybody known to man. So it says that we have one chance. Maybe I have a chance to actually stop my creation before it becomes a huge monster. I mean, I know it's been killing people, I think. I mean, it's only been 24 hours, right? So maybe it's not killing anybody? Oh, damn. I don't like that line on that graph. I don't like that decline. We're gonna get our funding pulled. That's all you care about, Baldi? It's not really as dangerous as they say it is. Is it, Doc? Oh, it's dangerous. It's bad. It's Michael Jackson bad. And everybody's just looking at me. They're judging me. They're giving me judging eyes. Let me talk to my coworker who's very close to the edge. Oh, God. John, what have we done? I've done the test a thousand times. It's so much worse than we thought. It's going to change everything. No, John, wait! In four days, every living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. I don't understand why I keep saying that. I think I'm gonna learn something by the end of this. Do you really have to go in today? Does anything really matter anymore? I don't even know. Hello, Molly. Why don't I have to go to school today? Because daddy messed up. Daddy did a fucky wucky, and I apologize for that. Daddy's gonna go to work and get scolded. Let me break my back. The end is nigh. World leaders all over the earth addressed their people yesterday and told them of the up and coming end of days. 
The cell-destroying virus is already widely spread and taking its toll on the world. The first signs of the virus in your area apparently include plant life dying. This would include things like grass and trees. Scientists say at the rate of the spread of infection, we have nothing. Okay, so I think by the last day, I'm not going to see any more green grass. I'm not going to see any more trees blossoming. It's just going to be death, destruction, and it's probably going to start smelling like cigarettes and cat piss soon. But hey, coworker, there must be something we can do. There's nothing, man. There's nothing, and the old guy got fired. What's happened here? Where is everyone? Let's check. Maybe they're all over here. Oh, no, they're not here. Okay, so everybody's gone. Everybody dipped harder than that graph that I just saw. And do I have to go to the roof? If there's a bunch of people on the roof, I'm done with this shit. Oh, no. It's just a uh, old man boss. Don't worry, John. I'm not gonna jump. Although I don't suppose it matters now. Go home and be with your family, John. I will. I'm gonna be with them so hard. But I have to go back. In three days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. By the end of that, I'm gonna be like, oh, that's what it meant by saying I have one chance, huh? Okay. So my wife is still sleeping. She wants nothing to do with me. I'm the biggest clown in the world because I invented a virus. And there's my daughter. She's sleeping as well, right? Okay, I guess we don't bother her. 50% dead by morning. Scientists have predicted that by Saturday morning, half the population of the human that were alive on Monday will be dead. As the death toll rises to unmonitorable numbers, teams of scientists all over the world are still working on a cure. Riots are taking place all over the world and mass looting is in effect. Uh-oh. John, we need you at the lab. We could be onto something, but we understand if you want to be with your family. I'm gonna be with my family. Is that my one chance? Yeah, it is. In two days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. Maybe I should have gone to work and tried to work on a cure? Or was there no hope? I spent time with my family, so that's gotta be something, right? And look, there's no more green grass at the window. But I'm still a handsome devil, my god! Let's check Molly's room. Molly is not there. Outside, there's no newspaper. I guess the people that write the magazines or the newspapers are dead. It just says sorry at work. Like, somebody graffitied sorry before they left. They're like, sorry I did this. Damn, you're dead. And there's somebody just in the middle of their own blood. Hold on, can I go in the lab? I'm the only one working on this. Today, every single living cell on planet Earth will die. You had one chance. Okay, so I had one chance. I have no idea what that chance even was. So I just have to live in the mess I created? Hold on, I'm walking a little bit slower. So I think I'm on my last legs. I'm still so freaking cute though. Mm, I'm looking scrumptious. Molly's not there. And nobody's in the bathroom. Okay, where is my family? Where did they go? They didn't take the car, so... Did they just head for the hills or something? I don't know, everybody. But we had one chance. So it's already too late. I'm still driving to work. The dedication of this man. Can't believe it. The park or work? Um, I guess I'll go to the park? That's gotta be where my family is, right? Wait, what is that? What, what the heck was that? Was that Molly hanging onto my shoulders? The heck? Bro, she's just hanging around like a booger in my nose. I guess that means she died, huh? Oh, crap. Oh, no. So everybody died. The wife, the kid, the people that he worked with. And I guess he's just gonna die in the park. Alone. And in his own guilt. Oh, yeah, he died. This is how the game ends. Bro, he don't even look dead. He looked like he's just sleeping. I reloaded the game, everybody. And then you click play. And they weren't lying about you having one chance. My dude is still sleeping in the park. Okay, so I just opened a new browser. And now I'm going to play this again. And I still have one chance. Let's pretend the other chance didn't even happen. And let's try to find a cure so we can save ourselves and our family. How can I work on a cure? Can I actually go inside of the lab still? Let me see. It's locked. Where can I get a key, though? Can I talk to my boss that's on the roof and then he gives me a key and then I start working on the cure? Is that what I did before? Let me see. Don't worry, John. I'm not gonna jump. Although I don't suppose it matters now. I mean, I guess you can't give up hope. I mean, look at the way I'm tap dancing right now. Okay, 
So let me actually try to get as much work done as I can. Those are the choices that I'm personally gonna make. So let's see what he says. You're going home, doc? Hell nah. I'm going to work. Yeah, there you go. Let's work on that cure, baby. I don't know what I can do at home that can actually change anything. Because we can go in Molly's room, but Molly's sleeping, the wife is sleeping, and yeah. There's nothing that we can really do. John, we need you at the lab. We could be onto something, but we understand if you want to be with your family. No. I'm going to the lab. Let's go to work. Is that the one that I chose before? Or did I choose to be with my family? I think I chose to be with my family. Because I don't remember this lady. Hey, you. Glad you could make it. You know, since this could be our last day on Earth, I've been meaning to ask you something. Well, the answer is no. Do you maybe want to get out of here? Skip work? You crazy lady. I have a chance to save the world. on some superhero type stuff. I'm going to go to the lab and I'm going to work my ass off. Oh, we're actually coming home from work late. Okay. That's interesting. So we worked all throughout the night. What? Oh, God. What the heck? How did that happen? I don't understand. Oh, the wife was saying, does anything really matter anymore? Oh, shoot. We should have stayed with her then, huh? But then I wouldn't have been able to work on a cure. And then our daughter's just in here. What's she gonna say? Where's mommy, daddy? Oh. And then she went on her shoulders. No. Wait. I cannot go in the bathroom, right? Because we don't want her to see that. That's something that you don't want to wish on your child ever in their life. To see something happen to their parents. I'm just gonna get in the car. Take Molly to the park or work? Let's go to work. Please tell me I made the right choice. Because I want to work on a cure. That's how we're going to save Molly. Right? That's how she's going to be able to just grow up and be somebody. Right? If we go to the park, I think that we're just going to sit there to die. And then she's looking at dead bodies anyway. So what I just said earlier about the mom, we're just throwing it out the window. Right? But at least she's there playing with her red ball. Today, every single living cell on planet Earth will die. You had one chance. So that means she's just gonna die anyway. There's gotta be a good ending to this. I'm not accepting that. I'm not. And Molly's not here anymore. And the wife is still... Ay, ay, ay. This game is kind of deep. This game is kind of sad too. Oh wait, the daughter's there. Wait, hold on, she's um, clinging on to me. I'm still not going in the bathroom. But um, let's go outside. Maybe we can still go to work and try to figure out a cure. You never know. Maybe they're trying to trick you and say you're gonna die today, but maybe this is the last chance where you can actually find a cure. Let's see. I'm gonna go to work. And then maybe, oh no. Hopefully she's just taking a nap because no, that can't be happening. I'm not accepting that everybody. This is unacceptable. Please tell me I can work on a cure. Come on. Oh wait, there's a check mark. Hold on, that, that's, that's gotta mean good, right? Oh. And then we're gonna give it to our daughter. Let's freaking go! Yeah, buddy. All right, so I think that we got the best ending. She's alive, right? Please tell me she's alive. She still looked like her eyes are closed. What the heck? That's gotta be a good ending. You got me messed up. I don't think that she's alive. My eyes are wide open, but those eyes... I mean, hopefully she's just tired from all the stuff going on, but... I don't know. Okay, so I reloaded the game, and John and the daughter aren't in the world anymore, but the grass is green, and it looks like the trees are growing all the leaves. So we can assume that maybe everybody died, but at least the earth is starting to, like, reheal. I don't even know what I just said. I think I just said reheal. I don't even think that's a word. What happens if I never go to work? I kind of want to see what happens if I'm just like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going back home. I can't go back home. Why is there a flying saucer in the sky? If the disease that I created wasn't enough, freaking aliens are in the sky. So on one of the days, I think it's day three, we can actually go home. And I'm spending time with my family. I guess I'm not going to put in that work because apparently it doesn't even matter anyway because I think I got the best ending the last time I did this. And then the daughter still died anyway, I think. Unless she was sleeping. Maybe she was just sleepy. But let's see. Our wife is in her brawn panties. Look at all the plants dying. I'm glad you came back last night. Now go get the paper and come back if you're not going to work today. Yes, ma'am. And Molly's still sleeping. Okay, at least our daughter's still alive so far. 
But let's go get the paper and 50% dead by morning. John, we need you at the lab. We could be onto something, but we understand if you want to be with your family. All right, then leave. I'm with my family once again. So that should mean something, right? So the wife is back in bed. That actually didn't even change much. Molly is... I don't even know where Molly is. Nobody's in the bathroom. That's good news. And I guess I'm going to work today for real. So I don't get it. Like, what was the point of doing that? What was the point of being with my family two days in a row if they're just going to be like that on the second to the last day that we live? Jim said, you, this is all your fault, John. You'll pay for this. What is that in your hand? Hey, back up. Back it up. Oh, got him. Oh, I didn't make the cure still. <laughs> I took the knife away from him, but I still didn't make the cure. That's the saddest part. No, this is the saddest part. What the heck? What just happened? Oh, God, no. Oh, my. I'm not showing that. I'm not showing any of this. So, Jim came to the house, and he did what he did. That is fucked up. You know what? Remember that co-worker that wanted to skip work instead of me trying to find the cure? I can't believe how selfish that is, but we just left work, and, um... I'm assuming that just meant the car was on and it was vibrating up and down. I mean, let's be real. We know exactly what happened there, but now we got to go home and we did not find any cure. And I know damn well that's not red Kool-Aid under the door. Okay, so we went with the co-worker in that scenario. So the wife, I guess she found out or maybe she was just going to do that no matter what. Wait, mummy's not even here. And I know I'm messed up for even going in there with the kid on my back, but I just wanted to see. Wait, he already buried her? Okay, I'm so confused. But yeah, um, that's what happened, everybody. We know what happens when we take the daughter to work. Actually, wait, let's just go to the park instead of work. Because we already know what happens when we go to work. I don't think that we can save the daughter no matter what. So let me just go over to this park bench. I don't feel very well, daddy. I guess we're just gonna... Oh, wait. Where are we going? What the heck already? She just said she doesn't feel well and there's already two crosses. All right, everybody. I think I'm gonna end this game of one chance here. I do like the idea of you only being able to play this game once. But obviously, if you like play this in incognito mode, you can play this as many times as you want. But I think my favorite ending, I guess, is the one where we find a cure because it's the most optimistic. I don't actually think that there's a good ending in this game, but I can see why a lot of people were saying that this game was sad and it's depressing. It's because there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Every ending that you try to get just leads to more and more disappointment and nothing good comes out of it. I think that's why a lot of people are sad about it because we play games and we watch movies to somehow get uplifted or entertained or we do these things because we realize that these situations could never happen to us but something like this could actually happen to us and that's depressing because we're just like okay if something like this happened to us and in this game there's no real good ending that could actually be a reality like we could never find a cure or we find a cure but everybody's already wiped out and i can see why a lot of people were saying what they said about this game but it was cool I enjoyed the fact that we had a chance to try to save the world and save our family. But we just saw what happened and we have to live with the results. So let me know what you all thought about this game called One Chance. If you enjoyed me playing through it, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.